Guys, Janet Jackson's documentary. Um, let's get into it. I thought, you know, let's give a bit of a cozy vibe. My friend's apartment in Geneva is giving me cozy vibes right now. The strobe lights and just the furniture, just everything. So I thought, you know what, and the bookcase. I thought, let me just relax as well. Um, anyways, um, <clears throat> I want to get into documentary because it's definitely sent shockwaves over social media, over the, you know, revelations that she made, especially about her ex at the time. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, it is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video, guys. Subscribe, click that button. Hopefully, guys, this is, <clears throat> you know, hopefully this angle is given because normally I'd have it on a tripod and ring light and now I'm just really holding my camera like this is some kind of vlog and like we're just chatting and talking like I'm in a coffee shop um, or apartment. Anyways, um, I'm in an apartment. Sorry, I'm just being dumb. Um, the Janet Jackson stuff was interesting because I didn't really expect her to address what happened with um, Jermaine Dupri. I had no idea that he cheated on her. And that's basically what he revealed in the documentary that, you know, it did happen. And that did lead, obviously, to their breakdown. And he basically kind of fumbled the bag because who really wants to cheat on Janet Jackson? Like, what are you doing? You're cheating on, you're cheating on Miss Janet Jackson. Like, I, I don't understand what is going on. Um... Not only that, but also the Justin Timberlake stuff. Now, it's so funny because regardless of what Miss Janet says about leaving him alone, they're friends now, that even at the time of the incident, she told Justin not to say anything, keep your mouth quiet, which I think was bad advice because him saying something would have taken off the pressure from her, and rightfully so, because the entire incident wasn't even her fault. It was his fault. He was the one that took the thing off. It was so funny because it's funny because regardless of what Janet says about leaving the man alone, we ain't gonna leave you alone, Justin. Do you understand? I just feel like he knew better. And if you know better, and if you don't do better, then it's a problem. And that, I feel like, is an issue. You knew better. You knew that she didn't deserve all of that. And in your heart of hearts, you still decided to keep quiet about stuff, let alone everything with Britney. I just feel like the man was in, was, was in many positions where he could have done better because he knows better, but he chose not to. And I think that is what the frustration is with a lot of the internet. There's a huge backlash for Justin, regardless of what Miss Janet says, because, you know, he should have done better. And this is this these incidents with Britney and Janet, he's never going to live down. They may have benefited his career initially, but now they won't allow his career to continue. And that is what we call karma, ladies and gentlemen, because if you do the most, you know, and to benefit you, it will definitely come around to find you. It most definitely will. She spoke about uh, Michael as well and the allegations that were against him at the time and the fact that she lost many strong endorsements like for Coca-Cola and whatever because of the Michael Jackson Association, guilt by association. And of course, she's I'm, I, like, I like the documentary. I didn't watch all of it in, in its entirety. Maybe some of you guys did, but I thought it was interesting. I just, I just, I, I want a Mariah Carey documentary now. It's made me want to that because I really like Mariah Carey as well. And I just think that, you know, these documentaries are a good way to highlight your life. You know, you're speaking on it. It's you and your terms. And it gives a different insight to stuff that we already know about. We already know about the public things that she's addressed to some extent. And But when it's from her own perspective, she's speaking about it, sitting on a chair, talking about it. I'm here for it. So I'm here for the Britney documentary. I'm here for the Britney interview with Oprah. That is what I need to see. I think it will bring a light a lot of stuff. And I'm intrigued. Anyways, this is just a very short overview of the Janet documentary. I know I missed out a lot more. Comment down below if you guys have watched the documentary. What are your thoughts on the documentary? Everything with Jermaine Dupri, which I thought was just interesting. And whether you guys, you know, enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button. It's daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.